Hello, my soccer universe for the final roundup video for uh, the weekend. And now we're going to the Iberian Peninsula. Uh, great to see La Liga back. And before we get into any action of La Liga, how about those fake spectators? That's the weirdest thing ever. And I hate that I, they played in some fake noises already, which were not all, all, all the great, you know, I actually watch the Bones League, I watch it pure as it is. I don't need this fake stuff uh, because I don't find it right. It makes it just all made for TV and kind of says, yeah, we can do without the fans. And I really have a pro pro with that. If you have no fans, show it without fans. Don't make it more appealing. But those fake fans put in there, ah, oh boy, I already say it, as I said in the preview video, that's uh, one heck of a programming job. First of all, it's just like some patches of color on there that are put over clearly using the blue screen methodology over the blocks where people are sitting, except for the Real Madrid Stadium where it there was an entire building blocked out because they, I guess, went for the white, which uh, looks totally strange. But first of all, it's not real people, it's just specks of color in maybe the color of the home fans. But then the weirdest thing is that if there is a writing on the block, so if there are seats of different color, it does not work. You can see the writing. You could see Getafe, I don't know, no, 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 Getafe, uh, Leganes written there. You could see um, Athletic Club written there. You could see Ar Espanol written there. Horrible. And then at the Bilbao Madrid game, it didn't even work on the upper stands. And sometimes the whole thing was moving. Horrible, absolutely hor horrible. And then uh, if they sh don't use the main per perspective, you see the empty stands and suddenly the st uh, the uh, Stadio Alfredo Di Stefano looks completely different. I have to say, get rid of that. Sh you know, what I want to see, uh, I say. It's horrible. It's absolutely hor hor horrible. Yes, I actually find it very interesting that they put in some uh, commercials or uh, messages, you know, safe sports, safe tourism. Spain awaits you was always written there. Okay, I understand you want to pro propagate that tourists tourist can come to Spain. <sighs> Give me a break. And then uh, the um, cooling breaks when it's only 20 degrees. What's that all about? I mean, that's the other... Uh, okay, if it's 35 or thir more than 30 out there, then it's a cooling break. But a uh, balmy summer evening in Mallorca or a nice summer morning in Bilbao, you don't need a frigging cooling break. No one else. These are the, just the things that I have to say. La Liga really dropped the ball there. It's Everything else was great what they have been doing during the, the Corona a lot of has to go, I think Bordelas um, really did a great job. But this with the fake fans, then the fake noises, which were one good, one bad, but the fake fans really turned turn, turn, turn me off. The program job is poor as can be, and it's not even the main... Uh, get rid of that stuff. You don't need that. You absolutely don't need it. And if you want to put, then put just messages on there. And if you want, put only um, a commercial. Use an additional commercial space if you want to do it. That's fine. I think that's better than anything else. Or, here's a novel idea. Use that idea. Maybe, you know, since fans are now on Instagram and so on, you can put their pictures there. That, I think, would make more sense. You see it in, Ger in Germany where uh, they have uh, down, I think I saw it with Köln, I saw it with Bayern. I'm not all that for it, but at least you get some real people there. Let's get to the games. Sevilla beats Betis in the derby, and I know I want to have a Sevilla jersey, and I've seen one that probably would be only 23 or whatever, but um, I'm not quite sure about its authenticity. I would have Andre Silva on the back. Let's see, from last last season. So uh, I'm really, I want to get, uh, but Sevilla jerseys are hard to come, come by for a reasonable price, I have to say, or at all. There's not that much um, option up there. Ocampos with a penalty and Fernando get a clear win for uh, Sevilla. I think Betis was ne never really in game. Granada pulls the upset over Getafe 2-1. Valencia Levante, crazy game. Valencia should have won that one um, late on. I mean, they got the goal late 
was not that great of a first half, especially. Uh, Moreno then gets seemingly the winner and then uh, penalties given after lengthy VAR and it ends 1-1 between uh, in the Valencia derby. Uh, and we will see that uh, all those that are fighting for the um, final champ, Champions League spot, they had a rough week. Espanyol gets a huge win over Alaves. Um, I think Wule was very instrumental in that one. Yeah, getting the second one. Uh, they had a goal just before the break and then Wule gets that and Bamba with two assists. Villarreal uh, wins at Vigo, which gives them, the, them some trouble. I saw a little bit of Leganes, Valladolid, by Valladolid was 2-0 up. Then Leganes pulls one back. Barcelona Mallorca. I uh, saw most saw some of them. Uh, Barcelona getting an early through Vidal and then uh, Messi shaven. I have to say, from a pure look, I like Messi with a beard better. But uh, this was the this reminded me immediately of the young Messi. He looks like ten years younger or whatever. Not as menacing, but maybe that's he wanted to reinvigorate himself. But yeah. Um, he assists Martin Braithwaite's first goal against uh, for Barcelona and I have to say I expected him to celebrate this is the moment of his life he scored for the biggest team that he will ever play for he did not celebrate at all that was weird I want to know more, more more about that and Messi with another wonderful assist to Jordi Alba who was by a fraction not offside in the 79th and then he he wanted to get his goal let's put it that way through Suarez in stoppage time and he again hits 20 um, for the umpteenth season in, in a row. So yeah, Barcelona puts Madrid under pressure. Uh, under pressure, I will say Athletic Club against Atletico Madrid. Atletico having a very early great chance, but then getting way too passive and it was Bilbao who actually uh, moved forward. Had some good chances. There was um, uh, Oblak needed to pull out a great save uh, there, but then Munoin gets the goal for Bilbao, and you think, yeah, Bilbao is well on the way of winning that one now, but two minutes later, uh, defensive error, and Diego Costa gets the equalizer. Second half, kind of have to say the game fell asleep a little bit, but still, I, I thought it was always Bilbao that had a little bit more control over the game, and Atletico Madrid going forward was awful, but still, who could, could have found a winner? Uh, there was the chance right there. Real Madrid looked very good in the first half against Eibar, uh, also getting a very early goal through Toni Kroos. Then wonderful Azar assist uh, Sergio Ramos, who is the opposite of Messi, uh, suddenly looks like uh, he just came out of the woods. Maybe that's his Covid hairstyle. Uh, he initiated the attack, it went nicely and then uh, he finishes off and Marcelo in the 37th gets another one. Second half is all A-bar, but who cares, Bigas puts one back, uh, it's 3-1 and then Real Sociedad with, yeah they had bigger chances, but couldn't convert it, but overall I think it deserved a draw and Osasuna could have won it late, Osasuna took the lead um, through a penalty, kind of a little bit against the run of play, but then, um, yeah, in the end they could have won it, um, didn't, so it ends 1-1, one, one. and if we look at the table here, uh, Barcelona, Real Madrid, uh, clear on top, Sevilla, that win was huge for them, uh, and they look rather safe for the Champions League, and then it's a dogfight, can Valencia get in there, that's the big question, but all, Getafe lost, Real Sociedad made a point, um, Atletico made a point, Valencia made a point. A uh, win for Valencia could have been huge here because they would have been right in touch with Atletico. So that might make it hard for Valencia. Uh, Atletico still the odds on favorites there. Uh, relegation, yeah. I think Leganes looks a little bit harder. Espanyol gave themselves a shot. And if you look at the 538 chances, I mean, Espanyol is given a better chance than the two teams ahead of them. Uh, Vigo is probably now in some trouble. Uh, let's see about Eibar. I think Alaves and Valladolid are probably safe there. Very brief to take a second and you know, I'm not sure how much I will follow up, but let's uh, see. Um, Cadiz, the leaders did not win. Uh, only played a draw. Uh, uh, it's the last one, of course, you probably don't see there. So, Sasargosa losing at home to Alcorthon. And yeah, here are the other results I note also La Coruña is not losing. That's another big win, uh, big name in there. Let's look at the table. Uh, on the top, nothing changed, but then there's a whole lot of moving up and down. The relegation battle there is another dogfight.
and let's finish it off in Portugal. Uh, we already talked about Benfica and Porto midweek. Braga is in bad shape, losing Boavista at home, so uh, Sporting is moving closer. And if you look now there, Sporting is level on points with Braga for the secure Europa League spot. Uh, Family Cow also having a good chance. Uh, Gimaresh also not no, no, looking all this. So that area down there is kind of hit hard. Porto having a pretty good chance of winning the title, although there, yeah, Benfica also botched their start. So that's my resume from the Iberian Peninsula. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.